Hello and welcome back to iCalculator. In today's video, we will navigate through the intricate topic of tax residency in Portugal. Understanding tax residency is vital for anyone living in or considering moving to Portugal, as it affects how you are taxed and what obligations you need to fulfill. First, let's cover today's topics. First, we'll define what tax residency means in Portugal and why it's important. We'll then examine the criteria used to determine tax residency. Lastly, we'll explore the implications of being a tax resident as opposed to a non-resident. Without further ado, let's delve into our first topic, defining tax residency in Portugal. Tax residency in Portugal hinges on more than just the number of days you spend in the country. It centers on where the core of your personal and economic interests lie. As a rule of thumb, you're generally considered a tax resident if you spend over 183 days whether consecutive or not, within the Portuguese territory during a calendar year. But the scope of tax residency extends beyond mere physical presence. If on the 31st of December, you have a dwelling in Portugal that suggests an intention to maintain and occupy it as a regular abode, then you are deemed to have a habitual residence. A habitual residence is your usual place of living. It is where you have established your home with a degree of permanence and is the center of your personal and economic interests this could be a leased apartment in Porto, a house in the rolling hills of Sintra, or any residence that signifies your primary living space. It's a concept that looks at your life's arrangements and where you've chosen to settle, not just your property ownership. Even if your job requires you to travel frequently or you enjoy spending seasons abroad, your habitual residence is the anchor that could define your tax residency in Portugal. The tax authorities take a holistic view, considering your family location, property ties, and where you spend significant periods of time to determine your residency status. Now that we have established what constitutes a habitual residence, let's move on to the specific criteria that the Portuguese tax authorities use to determine tax residency. Understanding these criteria is crucial as they will have a profound impact on your fiscal responsibilities and rights within Portugal. The criteria for establishing tax residency in Portugal are nuanced and tailored to capture the full scope of an individual's connection to the country. Beyond the clear-cut 183-day rule, the Portuguese tax authorities look for habitual residence, a place you consistently return to, indicating a stable residential interest in Portugal. It's not only about where you lay your head at night, but also where your personal and economic interests are concentrated. If your family lives in Portugal, or if your primary place of business is here, these are strong indicators of tax residency. Another significant factor is your intention. Intent can be demonstrated in various ways, such as enrolling your children in local schools, joining community associations, or consistently using a particular address for correspondence. These actions contribute to building a case for tax residency, even if your presence in the country does not exceed the 183-day threshold. To formalize your tax residency, you must register with the Portuguese tax authorities which involves declaring your intent to reside in Portugal and demonstrating your ties to the country. This might include signing a lease or purchase agreement for a dwelling, showing employment contracts, or providing documentation of local business activities. It's important to note that even if you meet the criteria for tax residency, the law also allows for a tiebreaker rule under the double tax treaty agreements. This rule is used when you might be considered a tax resident in more than one country and helps determine where your tax home should be based on closer personal and economic relations. In Portugal, your tax residency status determines the landscape of your fiscal responsibilities and privileges. Starting with tax residence, you are encompassed by a tax regime that considers your global income. This includes earnings from across the world, but it's not without its benefits. Tax residents can tap into international treaties to avoid double taxation and are entitled to a variety of deductions and credits that can significantly lower the overall tax liability. These provisions underscore the importance of a well-informed approach to tax planning for residents. On the other hand, as a non-resident, your tax concerns are confined to income originating in Portugal. The simplicity of this tax situation is countered by the inability to utilize the full spectrum of tax benefits and the higher withholding taxes on Portuguese source income. Although the tax filing process may be less complicated for non-residents, it also means potentially missing out on the financial advantages afforded to residents. 
Portugal also offers the Non-Habitual Resident Program, a scheme that provides an appealing tax structure for qualifying new residents, offering a more favorable tax rate on certain types of income for up to 10 years. This program illustrates the country's initiative to attract and retain foreign talent and retirees by optimizing their tax situation. Recognizing whether you're a tax resident or non-resident in Portugal is more than an administrative formality. It's essential to shaping your financial strategy and ensuring you meet your fiscal responsibilities. With the Non-Habitual Resident Program, Portugal extends a warm welcome, offering advantageous tax conditions that could influence your decision to make Portugal your home or investment destination. As we wrap up this discussion, remember that staying informed and seeking expert advice can help you navigate the nuances of Portugal's tax system, ensuring you take full advantage of the benefits available to you. Should you seek more detailed information about tax residency or need assistance with determining your status, iCalculator offers comprehensive resources and tools. Our website is equipped with up-to-date tax guides, calculators, and personalized advice to aid you in navigating tax residency complexities. Find all you need and more by clicking the link in the description below. We hope this video has shed light on the crucial aspects of tax residency in Portugal. Coming up next, we'll take a closer look at social security contributions in Portugal, detailing the responsibilities for both employees and the self-employed. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and switch on notifications to ensure you never miss an update.